Is this normal? No. They were hitting him before when we came here. Hi, I am Fena, and I'm in Portugal to visit Algarve Horse Alarm, a foundation that rescues horses and finds a new home once the horses are ready for it. Today we're going to a nomad family who wants to sell a horse to the foundation. Nomad families do not have a permanent home, but travel around by horse and cart. Although nomadic families are very private and don't just let people into their circle, the founder of Algarve Horse Alarm, Femke, managed to get in touch with this family. She visits them often to check the horses and buy the weakest horses to rescue them. Sometimes she pays with medicine or new equipment so that the horses that stay with the family are better cared for. Today we are allowed to join Femke on her visit and what makes it even more special is that the family gave us permission to film some of their horses and these recordings are therefore unique but can be disturbing. Okay we're going to do something very interesting because we're going to talk. <laughs> oh no, rescue a horse, hopefully, mm -hmm. uh, depending if it's in bad shape or not. This horse is at a gypsy community. They normally, they go um, from city to city. They go and live on one place until the, the police or the government comes and sends them away. And instead of the authorities having a look, okay, the horses need to be rescued or need to get out of here. No, they just send away. Um, we have had several cases that the horses come even to our city and they are bleeding a lot mm. and we call the police and the police comes and just sends them away and, and they don't do anything they about don't the horses. do anything about the horse so the horse just continues uh, the work uh, or even double work because it still has to go to a new place as yeah. well. It started because uh, we started to make many complaints to the authorities and the authorities would do nothing like it was a few months of calling every day and sending emails and the horses were still dying and uh, that was on the moment that I saw okay no we need to be more hands-on uh, do something about it and change mentalities and change yeah. people and try to change this situation not all horses are mistreated by gypsies of course it's also no they also have very well fed horses yes right? they have horses to sell but yeah we're going and we will keep you updated yes. <laughs> So we drove to the first location where the nomad family had a mare that they wanted to sell to the foundation. Okay. Well, this one looks very good, I think. I'm not allowed to record the horse on the right. There's a mule here. I'm allowed to film that, but not here. Uh, yeah. But there is now a horse on our left and uh, we're not allowed to record the one. It doesn't look that bad, it's a bit uh, skinny yeah. and has something on the on the neck. But this one looks very good, I think. But they yeah, were right? yeah, but they were hitting him before when we came here. That's enough, thanks. So they were saying that this one is delivering a baby? Yeah. And you want to sell them because normally when they're born and they need to go to the other place because the police, they are on the street and then the babies can't run because the hoofs are so soft. Yeah. Yeah. 
we went to a different location where the family just had to move out, but where they still had some horses. The funny thing was they were so happy to have a house like this, in this shape. Yeah. Imagine if we would just give them the right to have a, a life and to have a shower and to have... So they put this around the neck of the horse. But here, normally, it's, uh, there is iron inside. And because it's broken, see? Mm -hmm. It makes the wound. I saw the horse with the legs uh, tied up. Do you know why that is? That they don't run too fast. Oh, okay. You see, then they can't run so fast. Yeah. They just like sign there, this is because they'll, um, um, they put the oh, legs nice. together on these one as well. Oh you yeah, see? you see the markings. Oh, he's cutting it off. Yep. So, are they taking off the the rope uh, because you guys told him to do it, Dad? Well, I don't think they will take it off. Really, it's temporary. But we try to always say to them, ah, if the authorities come, we will get a fine. Uh, he says the this man came to his end very skinny, and now it's looking good. Oh no, they just put it back. Monta lá, monta lá. Vai, vai lá com This is why a, a horse with one of the gypsies, and he actually tries to carry really well off the horse. Uh, you can see he has still the scars of the working, yeah. but he don't have any open wounds anymore. No. Yeah, they try to take care of the horse. Yeah. Are you okay with them putting on the ropes on the legs? No, I'm not okay with it, but they they, they do it anyway. <laughs> This really breaks my heart. Okay. Well, they do look good, but they had the rope on their hoops too, around around their legs. Okay, can I ask a question? Yes. Really? Many questions. Does your heart not break when you see the horses with the ropes around the oh, legs? Uh, my heart breaks all over all the time. 
don't they listen when you say like oh you should not put the rope no you you we say things like Femke told me that this family has been chaining the legs of horses together for many years. They think it's the safest way to keep horses. Because they travel around, it's not realistic to build a fence every time. In this way, the horses are not able to jump over water kennels that enclose the field, and they are easy to catch. For me, it was the first time to see this practice, and to be honest, it was very shocking. Femke told me that they have tried to convince the family many times, but that they still keep on going with their tradition. As I told you in the beginning, we planned to rescue a horse that the family wanted to sell. But there are so many other horses that are in a worse shape that the foundation decided to not buy the mare. Femke told me that if they would rescue this one, they also would need to rescue another 10 horses. With this video, I want to show you a problem that's difficult to solve. Because this is not only about animal rights, but about human rights as well. The foundation helps wherever they can and slowly the government is getting interested in helping them too. But it's not enough. On our way home, we got another example of what happens when the foundation calls for help. Is this normal? No. Uh, Have you seen this before? Call the police when they see it, then they... Call the zoon here. They're pointing at you. Call the zoon here. No, 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 this thing. I think it's a few bags of bags of bags. So we're gonna wait for the police now. Yeah, they have to go. No, they have time. Okay, we need to go. So we called the Jinyar now, uh, but they won't do anything because this is a very casual uh, and not so uh, urgent problem uh, for them. As you can see, these events are not taken seriously by the authorities. However, I need to mention that these nomadic families are not aware that sometimes they are doing things wrong. Mostly because of the lack of education, many of the family members are not able to write or read, which makes it very hard to fit in the society. Algarve Horse Alarm tries to help this family and horses. As an example as I gave before, they trade horse medicine and equipment for the horses that are in an extremely bad shape. If you want to read more about the other things they do, you could go to their website. There you can also find information about how you could financially support them.